YouTube, Danestra83 back after um, I think probably three weeks since I last did my last video. Uh, basically general life has got in the way. Um, those of you who know I went on a stag do on Best Man at uh, my friend's wedding at the end of August, the August bank holiday and we went on a stag do to Butlins in Skegness which involved a lot of drinking which resulted in me coming back not being too well after. Having too many sherbets, I think, but um, yeah, so that, that ruled me out for another week or so. In fact, two weeks. I couldn't even face the boot sales the week after. I can't remember whether it was raining or not, or what, but oh, I was just feeling rough. So, I ain't been doing any pickups really, other than last weekend when I went out with my mate Liam again. I've picked up a few items, which is what's going to be in this video. And obviously, there's a change to how you're looking at me on camera now because I've had to move things around to get my new TV in which I'll talk about in a bit I'm kind of in what I imagine is a, a 2 to UK position I'm sat on my bedroom floor now floor my games room however you want to call it so I don't know how he gets on going up and down here because I'm pretty sure he's older than me yeah I think he is but I don't know how long this is going to last me sitting on the floor doing videos but we're here for today so yeah as I say I went out last weekend just gone I mean today's is today ch today's Tuesday I'm completely lost. I've stopped doing these videos and my mind's gone ugh, completely crazy. I went out on Saturday. Although it was a nice day to have been a bit miserable on the Thursday and Friday, and I think it must have put everyone off because it was proper bare. Really, really bare. I, I think I only picked up two games. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I only picked up two games and they're both pretty modern. They're for the Xbox 360. Uh, the first one here is Tomb Raider. I paid £1.50 each for these, which I didn't think was a bad price, as they are boxed and complete. He says, assuming that as he opened them, because he couldn't remember whether he checked. And Payday 2 was the other one, again, boxed and complete. Uh, as I say, in past videos, I never owned an Xbox 360. It was something that was donated to me. I was a proper Sony fanboy, never sold out to Microsoft-like sort of thing. So, uh, my Xbox 360 collection is basically tiny and it's slowly growing. Uh, talking about Xbox 360s, I'll move on to the Sunday booters, which again, I'm trying to think where me, we went to two, me and Liam did. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you now about the absolute stuff we missed out on. Oh no. Right, we've been walking around um, and someone who I know who knows I collect video games walked past me and went right in my and went. Snez over there and like a complete muppy I just went like that looking like and then I realised it was obviously someone who I knew who was winding me up well anyway as we got towards the last row where people were just saying oh my mate Liam goes to me he goes N64 over there and I thought yeah 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 I've already fell for that one today and he goes no seriously there is and as I made my way through to the table there was an N64 master system and a GameCube all we know power supplies all we know controllers um, and I just thought you know what I've got enough of them knocking around my house to buy these I'm not gonna bother uh, someone picked them up for 30 quid I think they got a mass system controller and a zapper with it it's alright if you can get the power supplies but the power supplies cost as much as probably what he's just paid for the consoles each anyway and while we stood looking I went to Lee I went he's got a SNES in his boot assuming that because it was still in his boot and it was the only item left still in his boot that it had been sold and someone else keeping it well, as I said that, one of the usual vultures heard me say it, apparently, and he went, oh, can I have a look at your SNES, mate? I pulled it out, he got power supplies, got a controller. And I think the bloke paid 30 quid for it, which ain't bad, because it was in a nice colour, but it's more than what I'd want to pay for on the booter anyway, so... I weren't too annoyed about that. It was then when I turned round and saw this other guy, underneath his arm, I'm trying to show you, and I'm out of camera, boxed 32X, he'd paid a tenner for it paid £10 for a box 32x so at this point my bud's boiling and I'm fuming so I think sorry I'm gonna walk away and as I walk away this little kid flips open this case with a game gear full of games and I'm like thinking I've been here since six o'clock 
one stall has had anything that I want. Everything else has had nothing. And I've missed it all. And that's the look of the boot sales. So people who might there saying there's nothing at the boot sales, there is. You just gotta be lucky and not be as dumbass like me and believe like what people are saying when they're saying it to you. But fully enough, that chap who walked past me and says, Oh, there's a SNES over there. He was stood looking at him, oh mate, SNES over there now. And he actually started laughing, going, Yeah, fair play, like sort of thing. But that shows how much competition there is because like all that stuff was so spread over about four or five guys who all were after the same sort of stuff as me. Um, so we kind of ripped that booter off. I did pick up a couple of items and we went over to another and, and I got absolutely nothing there. We saw one of the regular lads who, uh, he picks up the stuff as well. He got a carry case, Nintendo 64 carry case with a uh, Nintendo 64 and some games. I don't talk to him because he doesn't like me. He seems to proper eyeball me all the while. So don't bother me. I don't even do nothing to upset him, but he obviously doesn't like me. Got, must have one of them faces. I don't know. But I saw someone else who I know who resells there and he said he'd sit in and the chap wanted 50 quid, which is way more than what I'd want to be paying for something off a booter. But I know that chap will just be trying to flip it for 80 because of the games that was with it. So fair play to him, but I'd rather have had the game so I could have them in my collection. So I'm going to show you what I picked up from that boot sale after I've told you about my utter disasters of, of not really... I'm good at finding stuff the boot sale, I just never buy it. Just, just look at everyone else, pick it up. Um, I'll start with the Xbox 360 thing, being as that was talking about last. So I picked up this controller. Gears of War one. It's a bit manky. It needs a clean. It's got no battery back. But I paid one pound fifty for it, and I thought worst case scenario, I can strip down one of my other controllers and swap into these. Cause I do like these different variants of controllers. I've got a Halo one somewhere. As I say, so I don't never got involved in the Xbox 360. I've got some cool stuff for it. Um, I've got one Wii title. Super Paper Mario. Uh, I didn't know whether this was an expensive title or not. I just know it's a Mario title. I have got a Wii. I don't play it that often. Mainly because I ain't got room now to use the old motion sensor. But I paid 50p for this. Again, it's boxed and complete. All the gubbins and whatever everyone else calls it in there. Um, I've got a couple of PlayStation 1 games. 50 pence each. Tomb Raider Last Revelation and Tomb Raider 3. Now, I've got to have a full set of Tomb Raider now because I'm sure it's Tomb Raider 3. I'll keep picking up thinking it's the one I need and I'm pretty sure it's Revelation I need. So, I've, I think I've got, I've got to have... If I ain't got a complete set now, I'm doing something wrong. Something completely wrong because I know I've got one and two. So that should be all my Tomb Raiders for the PS1. Um, I picked up a couple of PS2 games for 50 pence each. Alter Echo, never heard of it. It looked kind of different front and back. I thought, I've never seen it before, so for 50p I'll pick that up. And Space Invader Invasion Day. Obviously, I thought this was just going to be like classic Space Invader, but when you look on the back, it seems to be like people down alley shooting at the aliens, a la like the little robot thing would do in the original one, so. Yeah, I mean, 50p. I'm not going to turn it down. And the only other gaming item I found was this one Game Boy game lying on its own on a table. Five in one. It cost me a pound. I think Liam paid for it, actually, because I bought his can of pop. I'm not sure if I've got it. I said if I've got it, he can have it. Like, you know, so, I don't know. I picked it up just so no one else could, really. You know, because they just keep buying it just to purely sell on my local sites, and it bugs me. Not that I moan about people selling, I just don't like this one guy because he has no intentions of having any interest in the hobby other than buying stuff to sell to other collectors. And then, these aren't game related, but I'll look, this stall, he was the last stall set up on the second car boot, and he got a table full of figures, and I love figures, action figures and that, and he proper got some of the Marvel Legends and all that. And to be fair, if I'd have been the first over, I'd have asked him how much for the lot sort of thing, but there was that many hands diving in, picking stuff out, it just weren't bothering he wanted two pound a figure and I've got six here yeah I've got six and I paid a tenner so he obviously gave me one free and these are like um, your movie figures made by I think it's Neko a lot of them N-E-C-O Neko that sound right or Nika might be Nika something like that anyway and these are just all from films and video games that are very interesting Sloth from the Goonies I bought this because it, it makes me think of Woodlin you know Woodland 37? Reminds me of him. Nah, 
I bought this. My mate who was actually on Best Man 4, he dressed up as Sloth when we went to Butlins. I dressed up as Alan out the hangover. Well, you know, I've got the face, that's it. I, I, I don't have to do a fat lot else other than wear a baby carrier with a baby. The Toxic Avenger. Unfortunately, none of these have got accessories with them, but they're all really cool. I mean, he's got his tutu on there. They're all really detailed. Not very much articulation, but I think they're meant to be more like statues than anything else. Sean from Sean of the Dead. He's got a bit of pen on him there, I think. But uh, yeah, I love that film. As I say, he obviously he must have to come with a shotgun or something, judging from how his hands, or it might be how he holds his cricket bat, I'm not sure. But he's not great anyway, but he still looks cool. One of my favourite films as a kid growing up from the 80s. I've heard they're remaking it. I hope they don't F it up like they do with most other remakes. And it's Beetlejuice. Now this one stands really weird. He stands like he's Michael Jackson. I'm trying to put him there and you can't see him. He stands like he's leaning. So I don't know how I'm going to display him. But he's really, really cool. And his tie flicks about and everything. I think his hair glows in the dark as well actually looking at it. Last one to do with films is from one of my films that my dad used to make me watch when I was growing up. I mean, bear in mind, I was probably about 10. I was probably about 8 years too young to be watching this film. And it's something that I watched as I got older and appreciated it a lot more. And then obviously they made a really, really good video game of this. And that's the Warriors and it's a baseball Fury figure. Out of all the gangs, the Furies are my favourite, to be fair. I mean, he's got quite good head movement articulation. He's obviously got the Furies right on the back. Not got his bat. But I mean for £2, I mean these figures probably cost you the best part of 40 quid to buy. So I'm picking them up for £2, so I can't really moan. And the last one is Akuma from Street Fighter and he really is loadsly articulated. Like he's got three movements in his arms, his biceps, his wrists, his elbow, in fact and his shoulder, so he's got four. And he's pretty much similar with his legs and he's got his beads around his neck. He looks miserable as hell. So yeah, that is basically everything I picked up from the booters. Um, as I say, I've got my new TV behind me. It's a Bang & Olsen. If you ever watch Gruss Newton, he, he's got variants of this, these sort of TVs. Picked this one up locally for 40 quid. Um, displays a really nice picture to be fair. It's called a BO or BioVision 1. I think it's BO because it's an E. BioVision 1. Uh, really quality picture. You know, it makes the games look ten times better than, funnily enough, what my wide screen does. Um, I think it's a 28 inch from there to there. I'm not too sure. Don't hold me on that. It does need a bit of a wipe. Uh, I can turn the monitor because it's like on a motor system, like on a stand down here, and I can turn it to like look so like if the sun sun starts glaring, I can move it round. And it's got this as a remote control I don't know what this actually looks like um, and it's on a postcard so yeah that's the remote control I mean this was a couple of I bought it off for an elderly couple that lived in a really nice part of town and they bought this from new £2,800 back in 98 and I paid them 40 quid. Uh, it is heavy my plan was to just get my dad to help me load it downstairs and then I went dad can you help me carry it upstairs because there was no way I'd have carried it up on my own because it is heavy. I mean, this is all like proper thick glass on the front here. It is a tint of blue. You can't really tell from the finger. But it does make the video games look a hundred times better. Um, I know Gruss knows all the settings to put in this. But I'm assuming his controller has got more on it than what this has really. I mean, it's got record on the back. I don't even know what that's for. Unless it's in case it sets up to a VHS or something. But I'm pleased with it. I'm happy with how the picture looks. It does look 10 times better than when it's stretched and all the pixels are stretched on a bigger telly. Or you're having the lines at the top and bottom. I've obviously got King of Fighters on in the background. So uh, so that's the movement of the games room. The figures haven't gone. They've actually gone over into the corner by where all my games have gone. And then over there, I've still got all the stuff I've got to sort to sell at Revival. I really need to get around to doing that. I have tested a lot of stuff. I just haven't priced it or nothing. Because my only main worry is I don't want to price everything too cheap because then all the other sellers will buy me stuff and then sell it to the guys who can come and buy not. I'd rather mark my stuff up and then someone come and barter with me because then price ain't set in stone there just to deter people buying off me to then go and make some money on it, selling it to someone else at the same event, if you know what I mean. I'd, I'd rather cut someone a deal than get ripped off sort of thing. So yeah, that's it. That's the changes to the room. Uh, 
nothing else new added as far as I can think of. Obviously, as I say, I've been away for a while. Obviously, being ill. Also, if any of you follow me on Facebook, you'll realise I'm getting back into playing football after being retired for like three, two and a half years. I used to play regular, now I don't. And uh, I am getting back into playing. So, last couple of Sundays, I've had to rush around to play friendlies and that on various, various uh, places in the Midlands, like. Um, playing on 3G pitches which aren't the best because my legs ripped to shreds being a goalkeeper but still um, I want to get around to doing a couple more videos I want to do a video response to Tony I believe he asked a question the other day I can't think what it is off the top of my head but I did say to him I will do a video response and I've got tomorrow off today's not Tuesday today's Wednesday I said it was Tuesday earlier it's not it's Wednesday I've got tomorrow off Thursday so I'll be doing my video response then also, I've started watching Nova Bugs channel, and he does the Friday Foursome, and he's doing sports games, which is some. I, I, I'm going to do it different to everyone else because I don't really play sports games anymore. But I spent a whole load of my youth playing various different sports games, which I do have in my collection. So I'll probably do a video response to that, as of the four games that I probably spent most of my youth playing, because that's when I spent spent most of my time playing sports titles, as I say. Um, other than that, I'm going to stop rambling really, I'm going to show you that I've got bloody hell too, how do you get up from here? I've got a Halo, f Halo 5 t-shirt is it? Can't really sit there, Halo 5 t-shirt. Um, I'm running out of games t-shirts so you're going to have to get used to either some football tops or boring t-shirts or repeat t-shirts I've ever done. Um, so yeah that's everything hopefully i'll get back into doing the videos hopefully i'll pick up a few more items i have got a deal to cut with that lad who i uh picked some stuff up in one of my last videos before i took my back break without knowing i was taking a break sort of thing um so that might be put into a new video soon so other than that thanks for watching if you like my content as always like comment and subscribe uh, and i'll see you on the next one to half an hour